Australian Open, Wimbledon, but where's Novak Djokovic? Tennis gets the Netflix treatment. Tennis is the latest sport to have been given the Netflix treatment, hot on the heels of an announcement that golf's leading professionals will be followed at the four majors and PGA Tour event. News of the tennis series came with the caveat that Novak Djokovic's issues at the border are unlikely to feature prominently, but will be referenced in some form. Produced by London's Box to Box Films, the creators of Netflix's Formula One documentary series, Camera Crews will be in attendance at the Australian Open, and the All England Club has approved access at Wimbledon later in the year. Is credited with a revival in popularity for F1, attracting a young, global audience to a sport that previously was at risk of being watched only by snoring dads. Golf could even share the name, although maybe it preferred. May suggest a series on jam, not baseline rallies, and Lou break. Players set to be involved include Stefanos Tsitsipas, Matteo Berrettini, Alina Svitolina and Maria Sicari. Golf's version has 22 professionals signed up, including five of the world's top seven male players and the British stars Matthew Fitzpatrick, Tommy Fleetwood and Ian Poulter. Chief among benefits has been increased interest from the United States, a country that had had little to follow in F1 since Mario Andretti. The U.S. market is the golden goose designate for most sports, rugby union is likely to take a World Cup to North America in the next nine years, and the advent of Major League Cricket in 2023 will look to spread the tentacles of T20 franchise tournaments within the country. One can readily imagine a series following the first edition of MLC or the fifth edition of Major League Rugby, which begins next month. American growth is not as pressing a concern for golf's PGA Tour or tennis. Nevertheless, there is no such thing as too many eyeballs on a sport as they vie for global attention. The danger of such series is evident. The 2021 F1 season climax with a final lap showdown between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen in Abu Dhabi after Michael Massey, the race director, contentiously permitted lap drivers between the duo to extricate themselves, leading to 90 winner-takes-all second. Hamilton, who was coasting to victory in the race and therefore the world championship before the late safety car, was a sitting duck on older tires and overtaken by Verstappen. Drama Had the line between sport and entertainment been crossed? Was F1, in its desire to provide a gripping storyline, now WWE, at 200 miles per hour? Given reports that the series overplayed rivalries and used creative editing, it was not hard to be cynical. Verstappen said in October that he was not taking part in the fake show. The feud between Brooks Koepke and Bryson DeChambeau, in a year and the PGA Tour offered $40 million as part of its player impact program for generating buzz online, could be the canary down the coal mine. Netflix are not alone in their interest in this market. Prime Video Series has taken viewers behind the scenes at five NFL franchises and two Premier League clubs, with Arsenal following Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur into the breach this year. In rugby, the All Blacks are the marketing tool of choice, featuring in the series four years ago, 